In Greece, we have the following proverb, Kathe archi ke vizkoli, which means every beginning is difficult. And the same can be said about any endeavor that is worth undertaking. I've mentioned many times on this channel how the Tetras workout routine helps you maintain a workout schedule as it puts you in a loop that makes exercising a habit rather than a chore. However, beginning the Tetras can be difficult, considering that if you start the traditional path, you would need to do a heavy day one workout and then max out the next day. But after experimenting with the Tetras and going a bit off the usual path, I found a trick that can help anyone ease into the schedule and maintain it indefinitely. This is especially useful for those working out for the first time or those working out after a hiatus due to injury, mental health, or any life circumstances that can prevent one from exercising. For those who have not seen the previous videos on the Tetras workout routine, here's a quick rundown of what this method entails. The Tetras is a cycling four-day exercise schedule where each consecutive day gradually increases the effort level by 25%. Day one requires 75% exertion as it's considered the warm-up day that leads into day two, which is the prime routine of the Tetras and requires 100% of your effort. Of course, this does not mean working out to exhaustion only until you get tired. Day 3 is the cooldown period, where you still work out, though only at 25% effort. This way, you don't overwork yourself, which can cause injury or fatigue, but still exercise just enough to lift yourself back up and move on to the next day. This is the final day of the Tetras, Day 4, which requires a 50% level of exertion with the sole purpose of building technique, whether for exercise, martial arts, or any other athletic art or sport. At first glance, it may appear self-explanatory that day one is where you should start. However, the numbering of the four days is only a method of categorizing them to better explain the concept. And, as previously mentioned, I have found a way to ease into the routine. This means not pushing oneself as much and instead opting for the core principle of the tetrades, which is gradually increasing the effort level. Now, this is how you approach the entry. On your first day of working out, work out as much as you like, not as much as you can. Figure it out the day of. Don't use a preset schedule or routine. After finishing your workout, see how much you've exercised. Then ask yourself the following. How much more exercise could you endure without getting exhausted? Can you quadruple the amount of exercise? Then you're here. Can you double it? Then you're here. Can you increase it by about a third? That'll put you here. And finally, if you can't increase the workout amount at all, you're on day two. Here's an example. Let's say you start working out by going on a one-hour walk, but you know that this is how you usually wind down your workouts rather than the main course. So you know you could also do a few rounds on the heavy bag, some cycling, or some sets of weightlifting. Well, then your first day was basically day three. On the next day, day four, you can add those few rounds of striking on the heavy bag together with the walk. Then, the day after, you can do a one-hour walk after some shadow boxing and half an hour of cycling. Finally, on day two, you can warm up with the shadow boxing, work in some cycling, do a few sets of push-ups, pull-ups, and squats, and finish the workout with the one-hour walk. Then you can repeat the cycle the following day, and you're now using the Tetras routine. If you want to progress, you can increase the intensity of the workout sections. For example, instead of walking two miles, walk three miles or instead of cycling for 30 minutes, cycle for an hour, and so forth. You can also completely replace these sections and experiment with how much you can do before getting tired. Of course, this will not work the same for professional athletes. The reason is that such practitioners have a minimum amount of exercise they must complete. So, for example, a professional boxer may want to work out for at least 3 hours a day, and if that's your minimum, you can't quadruple that. Instead, what you're going to want to do is figure out the maximum amount of time you can exercise. So if your minimum workout is 3 hours, try adding 25% to each following day. That would mean adding 45 more minutes per workout. So day 3 would be 3 hours, day 4 would be 3 hours 45 minutes, day 1 would be 4.5 hours, and day 2 would be 5 hours and 15 minutes. Otherwise, if you already know your maximum, which can be for example 4 hours, you can take the time between minimum and maximum workouts and divide it by 3, which in this case would be 20 minutes, and you can add that to each following day's workout. So, to recap, 
What you want to do if you're starting off and you're new to working out or have taken a long hiatus is freestyle and work out as much as you like, not as much as you can. After doing so, look back to how much you exercised and see if you can increase it, and if so, by how much. Depending on this amount, you'll find yourself on one of the four days of the tetras, which means you'll know exactly how to follow up the next day and the days after that through the core principles of this workout method. If you need specific exercises or workout plans to draw inspiration, the latest video I posted, Strength and Conditioning Tetrades, has several examples you can use. Depending on how much you can accomplish, you can do 1 to 4 of these, 2 to 6, and so forth. Of course, I have provided these workout routines for free, as I've done with all other documentation for the Tetras, the ancient Hellenic method of organizing workouts that I've spent decades researching and practicing to bring to a level I can show and recommend. I ask nothing in return, but if you have the means to assist me so I can continue making these videos free of charge for everyone that needs the help, you can purchase a monthly subscription on Patreon, where I also offer a fully customized workout plan for a limited number of participants, or you can provide a one-time contribution on Ko-fi. Cheers, until next time. <laughs> <laughs>